Commander. We have a job to do. We're still gonna do it. It's just... Landing in one minute. Should be able to see it coming up on my right. Hey, this is Doug Zyder Rose for Game Shampoo, and we are doing our first impressions of Tom Clancy's The Division. Last weekend, the final open beta concluded its run, so you know, being able to get in there and play about four to ten hours, no comment, in the beta gave me a good chance to actually poke around, see what's going on in there, what's available, get an idea of what's changed between the closed beta and the open beta. So. Presently, we were in that time between the beta and the actual release of Tom Clancy's The Division. Now, hopefully, you got a good taste of it. The game will be coming out in just a few weeks. This time, at least everything will be available to the players, the agents. Now, there's going to be less restrictions to where we can go, and more places we can, and have a lot more fun. Especially in the Dark Zone. So... Basic premise for those less familiar with Tom Clancy's The Division. You play as the Division agent, specifically one part of the second wave to be activated. The Division agents are essentially sleeper agents for a uh, secret government department. I think you know what it's called. The Division, well, at least that's what they prefer to it as. Each has been extensively trained specifically so they can work both within a command structure and without one. In the open beta, you were given access to three story missions. There was establishing the base of operations, its subsequent one of booting it up, the Madison Field Hospital, and the Subway Morgue missions. Now, skinny of all three of those. Establish the base of operations. Get to the post office the division has set up. Clear out the rioters in front of it. Get everything up and running. Madison Field Hospital. A virologist known as Jessica Candle is being held hostage there and being forced to work on you know, various wounded rioters. So you need to go in and rescue her. Subway Morgue Mission. Contact from the JTF Paul Rhodes, former PMC. He went into the subway to try and get the power up and running. He's gone missing. He's off the grid. You need to go find him. Pretty basic stuff. For the Madison Field Hospital, you unlock essentially your healing abilities. For doing in the Subway Morgue mission, you unlock the advanced tech abilities. There's at least one more unlock mission you can complete in the game. The thing is, you can't in the beta. It just gave you small sample size. On the note of missions available to us, there was the Madison Field Hospital. It actually stands out and is a lot more fun because it has the hard mode available. Now, this you shouldn't do right after you first complete the Madison Field Hospital mission because all the enemies are severely ramped up in difficulty. All their levels are doubled. All do they go from your basic enemies to what are referred to as veteran rank enemies. So yeah, they give better loot but they're gonna kick your butt a lot more. Now, if you're kind of like me and tend to run things solo, you still want help. Thankfully, for doing these missions, there is a matchmaking option. Now, it's not too bad. It doesn't have any level restrictions, though. So, you could wind up, you know, say you're running at you and a buddy, and then you wind up with a level four joining you. The level four will die repeatedly, and all you can do is pull them up and they won't be able to do much. So, yeah, seeing the level restriction would be really, really handy. Uh, we'll say they were fun, uh, presented a nice challenge, and definitely encourages more tactical gameplay because of the cover-based shooting that you're doing in this. Now, the last big thing to really talk about is the Dark Zone. Oh, the Dark Zone. So, this is the earliest access we have of the endgame content. This is the PvP area where you don't have to kill the other players, but if you do come across someone who's killed another player, you would want to kill them, especially if you have friends. 
especially if you have more friends than they do. And a lot of that is the Dark Zone is set up very, very much to be a risk-reward system. Dying to other players costs you a little money and a little XP. Dying to the NPC of the area does not have quite as bad a penalty. Now, say you kill another player. You are marked as rogue. This can happen if you're not checking your line of fire or someone isn't paying quite enough attention and wanders right into that sniper shot you're lining up against one of the enemies you're all working to kill. You've gone rogue. When you go rogue, you incur harsher penalties for dying of the whole risk-reward thing. However, if you go rogue and you manage to survive your timer, you actually collect your own bounty, which is really nice. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. I did wind up going rogue a few times in the Dark Zone. That presented a challenge, I'll say that. Didn't manage to survive. People are very good at killing you. Uh, um, yeah, Dark Zone actually encourages a fair amount of cooperation and at least some degree of just mucking around with other people. So, where am I take you all this? What's my takeaway from uh, the open date of Tom Clancy's The Division? simple. It was fun. It wasn't a great game. It was a good game. It has some very good MMO qualities working for it, especially in the Dark Zone. Still just felt small. I know it's the beta and it's not one of the bigger things to complain about, but it still did feel a bit small, even with like three districts of New York to run around it. From the beta, no, I would at least, you know, say hey, rent the game, give it a try, you know, like pop over to a friend's house and see if it's really your style. It's not quite mine, I can say that, but you know, like I said, I found it fun. It was definitely enjoyable and it was good to spend some time in it. Worth the money? Yeah, but like I said, it's not quite my game, even though I did enjoy it. All right, certainly hope this helped. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay footage. And I will be seeing you guys in New York when the game comes out. Take care.